YouTube, GS Man with Mark here. Today on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're here in Adobe InDesign and we're going to teach you how to combine text and images as well as show you how to turn text into outlines, which can then help you uh, add special effects, add solid colors, or even add pictures within that text. Maybe you'll learn a few other things as well. So, what I have, I'm going to go ahead and paste something real quick. I just pasted some text that I had created before I even started recording. This is the type of font that I like, so I went ahead and picked this type of font. But if you want to make some text very easily, just head to the text tool here. Just go ahead and drag a box and then just type whatever you want. And you can obviously change the font here and you can change your size here. But once you have a piece of text, uh, the way you can add a picture inside this piece of text is very easy. First, we're going to have to go and change this text into outlines. And you can do this by going up to type. Make sure you have your text selected. Then go up to type and click create outlines. And you'll see create outlines is right here. You can also just press control shift O or command shift O if you're on a Mac. And you'll see this turns our text into outlines. In fact, if we click our selection tool, you'll see that actually has created some dots, some paths around it. And this is basically an outline, so it's a bounding box. And bounding boxes, you can paste images in. Now, if you come to a problem where your text is very close together and you see some overlapping happening, what you're going to have to do is go letter by letter. So if you see some overlapping happening between the A and the R here, You'll have to go and basically copy and paste the letter out and you'll have to do letter by letter. So control shift O and for each letter that's causing a problem for you, then you'll have to do that separately. But most of the time, most fonts, you won't have a problem. So you can just select the entire uh, piece of text. Control shift O will turn it into outlined text. Now with this outline text, you can do some pretty cool things. You can obviously go to your swatches and you can pick a different color here. Let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. And if we press Control Alt M, you can now give your text a drop shadow, inner shadow, lots of options here too. So this really opens the door to many possibilities. But if you want to add a picture, for example, we're going to go ahead and grab a picture that I have here and let's just paste it in here. This is a character from Guild Wars 2, so it directly relates to the text. But if we go ahead and make this a bit bigger, like so, and make the actual image bigger as well. What we can then do, and now if I wanted to paste my picture in, say for example, I wanted to have his chest armor over my piece of text. We're going to make sure that he's underneath the text. So we got our layers here. This is our picture. We go and bring this down. Our text is on top. Then we grab our direct selection tool here, which is the white arrow. We make sure we select our picture. Our picture is selected. Control C to copy. We make sure we select our text now. And then Control Alt V. And as you can see, this pasted our image into the text and if we move our text now you will actually see that it's pasted in and you can very well do this with every other part of your text as well we're just going to go ahead and copy the image again make sure we select our piece of text with the direct selection and then press Control alt v now it's important to use Control alt v mainly because it pastes in place so if you just press Control v you might paste a picture somewhere else, but control alt V pastes everything in place. So if your picture is here, you'll paste it right on top without moving anything. And as you can see, if we move this piece of text now, the picture is inside our text in a really cool way. Now this allows you to do several cool things. You can keep your text like this if you want, but say for example, I wanted to, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back over control Z bring it back over here and say for example so now we have the image off but say for example I wanted to have a color on top of this and overlay it on top of the picture I could go ahead and make this blue 
and then I can go and grab my image again control C to copy it make sure our direct selection tool is selected control alt V to paste it and as you can see that is now over our blue text but if we bring up our effects panel go to Windows here get your effects panel and once we have our effects panel open make sure you go back to your regular selection tool go ahead and select your piece of text here and then we can go ahead and select uh, something like screen and we can even change the opacity a bit and as you can see this can open up some really nice creative design opportunities where we can have a tint over our image and make some really cool things happen so this is a great way to play around with text and images and you know giving things a tint and working with different layer modes and you can make some really cool things happen now, obviously you know this doesn't look like anything special but it does give you the tools and it does show you how you can create some of these things so uh, if you understood this then this is basically how to do it this is the goal of the video and hopefully you found it useful and informative if you did go ahead and leave a like at the bottom any other future questions any comments uh, if you want to know how to do something more specific with this go and leave your questions down below if you have any feedback or any suggestions on how to do this any better you can go leave a comment down below as well and if you're interested in more in design tutorials or photoshop tutorials video editing tutorials audio editing tutorials lots of different software tutorials on our channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel love to have you on board and if you want to donate a dollar to my patreon page you can do so as well click the card on the top right hand corner of the screen it'll bring you to the page if you want to check out the vlogging channel gaming channel advice channel music channel links are in the description as well as in the end screen and that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always and this is geos man with smart i'll be back so what you think don't go anywhere